And we're back. We're back. And we're back. Welcome to Fresh Fishing, guys. I'm Foxy. You know who I am? No, I'm Wayne. He's Wayne. <laughs> we're back for another uh, episode of Venue Hunters. Yeah, it's been and too long. It has, mate. It has. He's been on holiday. He's not allowed holiday in future. Yeah, I've got a couple of sessions in as well. Without Foxy, so it feels like a lifetime since I've fished with my yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, he did. He, he, we put it on the Instagram. He got a nice tench when he was down London. So, mm. um, yeah. so well done. I came here on Sunday and didn't have a great day. Uh, and when I say here, we're at our trusty Woodlands. The Mecca, mate. Yeah, we're at, we're at Woodlands. We're going to try a different night today. But yeah, I came on Sunday. Can't go wrong. And I went on Fox Covert thinking... Um, some decent fish in there. I saw there was a 13 pounder out on the weekend, so I thought I'd give it a try. Mm. Went around the other side where there's a fallen down tree, and it was Snag City. Snag, to snag City. <laughs> Four takes all went into Snags. I managed to get one, so at least I didn't blank. Today, we, as we said, we're at Woodlands. Um, we're going to try one of the match lakes. It's a the Tuesday. Partridge. Is it called Partridge? The we're gonna, Partridge. The Partridge. Yeah. We're going to go on the Partridge. It's a Tuesday, so the match lakes are, there's a bit more availability. Yeah, um, I think there's only using two lakes for the matches today, Curlew and uh, another one. Skylark so, or something. Something like that. Yeah. Um, so a couple of good ones are available. So, yeah. Fishy, so fishy. yeah, we're just doing a um, an evening sesh. So from four until until nine, when you can when they have to stop fishing. I think normal rules apply. I think it's ten pound even if it's an evening ticket. But yeah, let's see if we can. Get I'm a bend pretty in the certain rod. that ten pound for that lake. At this time, we will clean. Do you know it's funny? I don't. I shouldn't say that actually. But it, it's funny <laughs> I though. When I was here the other day at Fox Covert, my dad went early, and my, my, my mate Dave stayed, and we were packing up at about six. And I turned to him. I said, "You don't have any other mates." I do. Sorry. No, you don't. Other, other <laughs> fishing friends. How oh, very dare he's coming to France with us? Buzzing. Shh, France. We booked France for next year. Yeah. Oh my god, that's gonna be meant. No, but we were saying when we we're packing up at six, I was like, I literally turned to him and I said. It would be good to fish pat, like up to like nine o'clock when it gets starts getting dusk. So today we're getting to do that. Getting to do it on and a we'll better get, lake as on, well. Yeah, on an e well, like an easier lake in terms of um, snags and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. It's just nice and open. So um, yeah, let's see what we can do. Yeah, I'm, I'm buzzing to get a bend in the rod because the last probably like three or four sessions I've I've done and, and we've done together. I've used my spessy rods, all yeah. bite alarm. So I've missed the bend in the rod. Yeah, I'm... it's different when you've got the lighter gear and you can mm. you can really feel the fish and stuff. Um, yeah. So it, I think yeah, hopefully we get into a few and uh, we can bag up and it'll be yeah, nice. Yeah, and if you ain't fished this lake, we'll we'll show you hopefully what it's like. What it's I, about, I know yeah. that it's good. Yeah. The match lakes here, you pretty much know. That's why they're match lakes. At the end of the day, there's mm. tons of fish in them and there's some. There's some. If you go on the Facebook recently, there's been some absolute chunks coming out of them. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we can get one of them yeah. and maybe even break a PB. Not on PB busters. Mm. Let's Could just see. Would be fun, wouldn't it? Yeah. We'll see. see. Yeah. And your boy. Has just put his rod out and it looks like he's into a decent one. I'd say about eight. Yeah. Mate, that literally just dropped into the wall. Sorry, mate. Don't say sorry. You're in. <laughs> First cast. Look at the face on it. Oh, look at the face on that one. Yeah, it's taken a beating this time. Yeah, bless Them it. big pellets as well, dynamite baits. Well oh, done. I've got them. Buzzing. What's my rod? Nice. Idiots forgot his net. <laughs> But he's into one. I've heard that a lot. <laughs> oh, nearly, oh, nearly. Just coming out. Just coming out. It's alright, isn't it? Yeah. Buzz in. Thank you very much. Jordanian's in. He's joining the club, the catch club. 
This is like Inception. I'm filming Wayne and Wayne's filming Jordan. Madness. Slack on, didn't I? Whoa. Is that the end of your rod? You just have to try and get it in. This is a fresh fishing first. Get in. She san is a bloody beauty. She's a beauty. Another common. Wayne with his little Ray Mays glasses on. Yeah, I probably look stupid. It's a sun out of my head. Not bad. Can't go wrong with a match pond. Lovely. We absolutely love windy days. Yeah, no, grab that, mate. I've just lost one and Wayne's into one. Oh, you're not. Nah. You're not, you're not holding it up. No. Is it battered? It's embarrassing. Oh, God. It's been caught a few times. Yeah. Wayne's into one in the distance. Another one. I don't know how many that is. It's a nice fish, but look at the state of that gob. Look at the chops on that. Flying though, Wayne, aren't you? Yeah, I'm flying, but I guess that's what you get for a match pod, right? It's obvious they're all going to get caught loads. <laughs> so this one's actually a little bit better. Nice. It's pretty. <laughs> nice one, Foxy. Well, you finally got one in. Yeah, lost four. <laughs> well, got one, lost four, and then finally got this one. That's in. a nice one, that. So yeah. And uh, it's a shame because we're sharing nets. We could have both had two decent fish on the bank at once. Oh yeah, it's um, not bad. Actually. Fair play. I'll keep, keep right, so point. we're about to weigh this. Fox's rod's gone. It is kicking <laughs> off big carnage. time. Jordan's getting annoyed because he's not able to fish and we're asking him to do too much. Oh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's kicking off. <laughs> I'm joking. <coughs> Let me, let me weigh this. It's probably not as big as we think. I've said 13. 10. It's not. What? Just over 10, 11. Well, mate, that was a bit of a... That was mental. Bit of a panicky 15 minutes, wasn't it? Mental. Still got this one in the net. Took ages to unhook it because the hook had gone down that far. Gone right down his gullet. Yeah, you had yours in there. Yeah, we weighed mine. Mine was 11. Uh, that one there, you've got there probably... That looks about... Eight? Yeah. It's quite eight. nice and long, in it? So let's let her go back in. Adios. And the boy is in. This is getting fun. Real fun. Lions are screaming off all over the place. Aren't they, mate? It's where you left it. Well done, Fox. Oh, <laughs> Foxy just caught that last fish. I was reeling mine in as Foxy caught that. So I just left mine at the end of my peg. 
didn't even realise the pellet was in. All of a sudden, my rod's just gone, snapped the line, and now my other rod's just gone. This place is heaven. Heaven, but it's, it's, it's a little bit too intense for me. It's a bit much. <laughs> it's a bit much. One rod is needed. <laughs> yeah, two rods is a bit of a nightmare. Oh, I'm... I'm in. Come down here. It's in between us, mate. That's still filming. Sorry if you've been watching the ground for the past 10 minutes. Wayne's still into one. Look at that. Both of us. Woohoo! We've wanted to do this shot for so long. And mine is the ugliest fish on planet Earth. <laughs> look, at the, look at his back. Do you know what though? Um, we could have done this a couple of times on this session. Uh, yeah, we've, had, we've caught the same fish. Before. I don't know what I'm saying, man. Buzzing. Buzzing. It's buzzing. That's going to blow off in a sec. Let's get, nuts. let's get these back. Ta da! So, um, Wayne's trying to have a rest. I'm trying to chill, mate. I've had my rods out of the water because it got snapped off. One got snapped off and I caught one and I wanted to just, yeah, have a little chill for 10 I've minutes. I've just had another one that I've just put back in and as I'm trying to unhook it, it won't go. It's alright. People, get on the partridge. Get on the partridge. The reason they keep it back. Yeah. Decent that. Looks alright, that, mate. If I get the camera on it. Well done, lad. This place is crazy! <laughs> it is non stop. And you know, I knew that was going to go because the pick went a little bit and I thought something's going to go for that. I'm trying to not make it go to the water. Finally. <laughs> Here we go. Another one bites the dust. Crazy session. Well, didn't even film this one, me catching it, because we're catching that many. But that is an absolute beaut of a ghosty. My favourite type of carp. I would kiss it, but it's disgusting. I'm not one of them yet. <laughs> Buzzing with that. Bites are just another one. A little chunk, like yeah. small but fat. We're little, like we're not even filming these now. No. We're just getting that many takes. Yeah. We're about over up. He was just saying that his swim's gone dead. And then what? And then it kicks off, doesn't it? Proper. They are nice here, aren't they? Okay, so we just thought we we don't really do it that often in terms of like the the, um, the venue hunter stuff and sort of feeder fishing and showing you kind talking of talking through like yeah, our... just showing you sort of our, our feeders and. Um, the hooks and that we use, etc., etc. Um, I mean, I, I guess we think it's kind of self-explanatory, but to some people, it's not. So we should have probably done it a bit earlier. Yeah. Um, but today, because we're having such a good, the both of us are having absolute blinders. Um, yeah, we'll just show you. So I've got the Guru Hybrid um, Method Feeder. It's a 28 gram, um, and I, I lost a bit that goes with it. So I've just stuck it, um, stuck it on a swivel. Yeah. And then we've got the hook to nylon um, with your... Just a banded hook, isn't it? Yeah, band. that's yeah. Guru Barbless yep. banded hook. And the other one I'm using... It's like a mini... Is like a mini pellet. Pellet feeder. Pellet feeder. I don't know what the gram is, but it's a small one. Yeah, it's a small one because I've got the mid-size ones, I think. Yeah. Um, and same hook. And again, just the hook to nylon with a band. And then bait. And bait-wise... 
my hook bait. I've got 11 mil. Dynamite. Just playing pellets, aren't they? Playing, yep, carp pellets. Nice big pellets. Um, and then just using. And I'm just using, I think, micro these are, pellet. Yes, yeah, a micro pellet. And it's just going down an absolute treat. So. Yeah, so similar to Wayne, I just thought, take you through what I'm what I'm using. So I've recently, I've been a bit naughty here. I've borrowed a, a um, feeder from Old Man River. And we all know he does the business, don't we? So I thought, if I copy his setup, what I noticed of him is, everything he does is quite small. So this is just a Preston feeder. Um, it's only a 20 gram feeder. And I've actually got the, the press that goes in it. It's proper nice. Um, so you press it in nice and hard like that and then you press off the back of it and it pushes it out which is just nice. molds it around nicely doesn't yeah, it yeah it's beautiful um, similar hook to Wayne so what he said so um, just the Guru banded hooks size 12 and then my other one is similar kind of setup really but same to Wayne it's a um, hybrid Guru feeder but just a smaller one so it's only 24 gram okay. same hook on same same pellets that Wayne's using. I didn't even know you were using them to Yeah, be so dynamite. You just can't go wrong with just like standard pellet, really. Like, yeah. They don't need to be hot flash. Obviously, with my micro pellet, but then my little additives, uh, a bit of liquid halibut um, oil, and then also just got the strawberry one. So I'm just mixing it up on each one, putting a bit of oil on one, putting a bit of strawberry on the other. Fair and place. It's, I mean, the lake's obviously good for... For, for matches and stuff anyway, but yeah, it's doing the business. Spot on, son. Jordan is in for his third. Lagging behind. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Jordan. Go on, son. I feel like a proud father watching Jordan play. <laughs> Uh, I suppose so, yeah. But I, I suppose I did it with Riley first. Yeah. Right, Foxy, I'll be your first. Thanks, babe. <laughs> Number 67 of the day. Of the day. You sound like Big Brother. Another one for George, he's a happy man. That was nice, wasn't it? <laughs> that was nice. I'm fuck, I'm, 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 f f f f I'm knackered. Yeah. Well, I'm knackered. mate, it lived up to its name. Yeah. So, unbelievable, it, unbelievable session. Yeah, it was... Um, Considering it was, what, a few hours? Well, a bit more than a few hours. Well, so we've actually... Pa we were going to fish till nine, but we've packed up at half eight because we, we literally had, had caught that many and... When you do a session out and you think should we pack up early because you've caught that many, it just shows how good it is, doesn't it? Mm, yeah. Um, I actually lost count of how many. I, I lost count as well. Um, because it is in such short space of time, I think I had maybe around twelve or thirteen. You about probably the same, had probably you about, had about roughly the same amount of carp, I think, and then like a few bream and stuff. I, as well. I had a, f a few bream, yeah, yeah, three or four bream. So. And on a match late, like those bream but, they yeah, do they, the business, they don't they? Help, they help, but. What a what an absolutely sick night. Belter. Yeah. Belter. I'm actually struggling to think how I'm gonna edit this because it's just gonna it was so crazy at times, wasn't it? Mm, yeah, yeah. It was just it was yeah, it was just mad. So good. Just buzzing we came and did it to be honest. And just with you. to confirm as well, it, it was just ten pound. You know, we were yeah thinking about whether it's an evening ticket or what, it's just a tenner, but happy to pay ten pounds for that. More than happy. More so, than happy. Um, more than happy. Good, good sizes coming out. Pretty consistent with the sizes, weren't they? All kind of well, averaging sevens. Yeah, I would I'd say an average of seven, easy. I easy. weighed I weighed one that I caught. It was eleven. I think Foxy had one about the same sort of size that yeah, we didn't fat, weigh. Wasn't it? Yeah. Um, you can't go wrong on that lake, the Partridge Lake. We're here on a midweek session, so. I think weekends you you'd be hard pushed to get on, uh, yeah, on any of those matches, matches leagues. Yeah, but yeah. if you come midweek, uh, even if you kind of finish work early, get down, get your rods out for like four o'clock, yeah. stay till like eight nine. It's a proper I, show. I can't I can't imagine it being any different to what we just had there. But yeah, what what an absolute sick session. Mm. Um, it's yeah. just another one of those lakes that that we haven't done, and and now we can tick it off. 
Yeah, uh, like we woodlands. This we, is we, we want to get round to doing them all, don't we? Yeah, this is the this will be the fourth, won't it? I think fourth woodlands video, and yeah, we want to do every single lake because mm. um, it is one of our favourite venues to go to. You can't go wrong with coming here because just basically that what we just what we just experienced. You just can't you can't fault it. You can, can pretty you? much guarantee, can't you? But yeah, if you're gonna come woodlands, always try and get on a match lake, and I'm always gonna try and get on partridge. Partridge is good, yeah, but we want to try the other ones. There's like curlew and wagtail. I know and... that's the problem when we do the videos. We have to try different, different yeah, lakes, can't... and we can't get back on it. Yeah, yeah, it, it's a shame, but um, but yeah, yeah, like what what an what an unbelievable mm. session. We we managed to get the shot that we we've always wanted, where we both held held the carp. It was nice. I caught a ghosty. Yeah, favorite, awesome. Favorite. Awesome. Do you know what? It's a shame with that shot where we both held a fish up because about 15, 20 minutes prior to that shot, we did. Again, have two, and we were trying to do at the it. same time. We were trying and they were to do bigger it. And a lot better bigger looking. fish, better looking, um, but timing just wasn't right. I didn't want to keep the fish out of the water for too long, so I put mine back. Then Foxy got his out, and yeah, it was just, just a didn't work out. Bit of, bit of madness, wasn't it? But um, yeah. seriously, what a session! Like buzzing, buzzing with that, buzzing. And on to the next one. So people keep asking, you know, when when are we getting a new video out and stuff. Obviously, we'll get this one out, and mm. then we're going on the PB Buster series. We're going on our little road trip, which was men mentioned. So that is this coming Friday, and that will be out as soon as we can get it out, basically. Yeah. And also, it was nice. Um, one of our subscribers was was fishing partridge as well, and he spotted us. He come around and said hello. So that was yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah, nice to meet you, mate. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's everything for today. Um, obviously, you know the drill. Give the video a thumbs up. It, hit the subscribe button if you don't already. Click the alert button so you get notified when we post any new videos. And we'll see you in the next one. Nice one.